Hello YouTube, this is USS Odyssey here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to run a pretty cool classic game from the Star Trek series. That is Star Trek Bird of the Federation. It's a pretty cool game that it came back, it came out in 1999 if I remember. It was published by Microprose. It's a turn-based strategy game from Star Trek. Um, actually pretty unique, very fun to play. Uh, I've been wanting to play this on my new computer. I'm running Windows uh, 8.1. I tried to run it when I had the, uh, the Windows 8 only. Um, well, uh, it seems that the game could install okay. Unfortunately, the game was pretty much unplayable. The cursor lagged a lot. Um, whenever a, a battle animation was loading, it would just pretty much explode back to the desktop. So, I did my homework, I googled around, took a few a few weeks of research, and I found this little beauty here. It's called Wine. Wine is just the combination of these three DLL files. I'm gonna put the credits right here. Alright. Now that is we're through with that. Alright. Pretty much Wine works like this. Uh, you dropped the DLL files into the root directory from where you install the Build of Federation game and it will work. Let me show you. Right now I'm going to test it with the Ultimate Dominion mod. If you haven't heard about this, you gotta try it. I'm just gonna open the file location, there it is. You just need to copy these three files paste them on the root folder. Right now it's asking me if I want to override them because I already did. So yeah, I want to replace the files on the destination. And you just launch the executable file. Now you're going to notice that the game just kind of gets stuck in the tray. You just need to alt tab back into it and it will work. So let me show you. By the way, the volume is going to be a little bit high, so I will correct it in a moment. <laughs> Just an FYI for your ears if you're wearing headphones. Okay, sorry for that. Sorry, <laughs> I forgot to change the settings, and I just remember when I, when I hit the, <laughs> the startup icon. All right, here we are. This is the ultimate Dominion mod. You do not need the mod in order to make Wine work. I will show you in a few moments with the vanilla installation. Game I just want to show you how it runs right now. Select Galact the United Federation of Planets. There we go. All the intro movies are working. Always remember that expansion is achieved by diplomacy, not by the military. Yeah, right. <laughs> cool story, bro. Anyway, here we go. Remember the problem with the cursor, those of you that have tried to run this? Well, it's gone. It's working 5x5. Five five. And uh, what else do we have? Get a light escort. Let's send it to intercept that contact. Uh, we got an Akira heavy cruiser. Go over here. An alien culture has been discovered. The Flexions. An alien. Right, we got a battle. That's good. And it didn't explode to desktop. Areas. Dominion ships. All right, let's be a good Federation officer and I, sir. open helium frequencies. Yeah, everything is civilized. A peaceful exchange is even better than a victory. 
An alien culture has been discovered. All right. An alien culture. Poor choice of words. <laughs> anyway, everything is working pretty smooth, pretty easy. There's no lag at all. Also, this mod it includes some pretty cool starships, uh, intrepid class vessel, a centaur class, classic Miranda, Akira class. Uh, I don't remember the name of this bad boy. It is um, um... God, I forgot the name of this ship. Anyway, <laughs> we got a Constitution class and um, Excelsior class, Steam Runners, Nebula, Sovereign. Uh, Constellation, Ambassador, Galaxy, and I think the Galaxy X should be around here somewhere. Well, anyway, this mod includes some pretty cool uh, ships designs. If you want to give it a test yourself, um, just um, like and subscribe and send me a message and I'll see what I can do to get you a download link for this mod. Now let's go and take a look to the vanilla installation. Here we are, we're back on my desktop. The process is the same. You just go to the vanilla installation folder, which by default it is C Beard of the Federation abbreviated. There we go, C B O T F. As I said, you can install the game from your installation disk without any problem. It will just install fine, the problem is that it will be very laggy and unplayable. So you just copy and paste the wine files. Yeah, well they are already there. If you want to switch to the classic game experience of Bird of the Federation, just put this on your vanilla installation folder. I'll tap into the game. Wait a few seconds and oh memories. Space, the final frontier. This was the dream that led the Federation to make peace throughout the galaxy, to stand firm. All right, you can check that on your own. <laughs> Acknowledged. All right, that'll do it. I have a game started here, but game I'm gonna show you with a new game in here. Select galactic power to control. Let's go with the Romulans. The Romulan Star Empire. Which is my second favorite because they have one free turn to attack when they are cloaked. Misdirection is the key to survival. And here we go. Let's check if it's still lagging. No lag there. Large map. Go here. Go there. Contact has been made with an alien culture. And well, as you can see, this is the vanilla install. Uh, uh, version of the game. The models are a little bit more. Oh my god. I cannot believe that this was. Uh, state-of-the-art graphics <laughs> back then. I think this uh, we used DirectX 6 or 5? I don't remember. Well, it was pretty fun back then and I can assure you if you like Star Trek games like as I do, it's gonna be fun today as well. Oh, they can't go any more far. Well, anyway. There it is! We got Star Trek Bird of the Federation running on a Windows 8 computer. And yes, we are running Windows 8, you can see from my start menu here. Alrighty! Okay, YouTube, if, uh, I'm going to leave uh, on the description the link so that you can download Wine. Uh, so go ahead and grab your own, copy and paste it and check it out. Um, I tested this on Windows 8 and on Windows 8.1.
I'm not sure if it works on Windows 7. Um, as far as I have researched, it does. However, I have not tested it myself. So uh, Windows 7 users, go ahead, take a shot and let us know if it works. Um, I'm pretty sure it will. Uh, also, if you want to test the Ultimate Dominion mode, uh, just um, like and subscribe, send me a message and I'll try to forward your way uh, download link as well. It's a small install, it's like 200 megabytes or 300, I don't remember how much. And well, that should do the trick. That once again, uh, thank you all for uh, checking out my channel. Remember to like and subscribe. This is USS Odyssey, checking out. See you out there.